right, so we have this uh, phone tripod here that was sent to me for testing and review. This is the uh, RSR SS10001. You can see that right there. So let's get this thing open. Let's see what all is inside this. Looks So nothing else in the box there, so that's nice. It looks like we have the tripod itself here, but let's get this open, kind of see what it looks like. So I will say right away this thing is pretty robust. This is not a small kind of selfie stick. I know that this is kind of what they're advertising it is a selfie stick and tripod. So definitely not small, but I do like that we can lift this up and now we have multiple, we have your normal uh, screw there for any type of camera. So you don't have to just do a cell phone and then if you flip that down, now it looks like we have our cell phone holder. Yeah. So now we have a cell phone holder right here and then a normal tripod mount right there. Now I know that might seem kind of weird that you would want both, but I can actually see people using this and then putting like a camera or putting a light or something right here. So I can actually see this being useful, being able to have your phone and then a normal tripod mount there. So that's actually pretty cool that you have both and it's built in there. So we do have a Bluetooth button here built into the handle. I'd have to mess with that to see how well that works, but honestly, I usually don't like to use these to be completely honest. But outside of that, let's check out the tripod itself. So you do kind of need to flip this up so it's out of the way. But if you open this up, and that's how you're gonna be able to use the actual like tripod part. That is when you're allowed to move that. Now, if you close this, these don't move anymore. So you have to have that open to really open up the tripod there, right? So let's go ahead and put that back. Oh. That is a little awkward because there really isn't like a good spot for you to open these without kind of messing with the bottom, I guess. So that's just one thing to take note of. Now, when it comes to the actual like stick part, you can see here, it actually opens up a lot. This thing gets really big as far as how tall it gets. So this, you can see, let's see if it'll touch the ground. All right, so that's on the ground. That's okay. That's sticking up pretty far. So this is really tall. I do. I honestly wouldn't even anticipate me using that that high. You know, first impressions. This is pretty nice. Um, I mean, it is a pretty specific type of selfie stick. Um, the fact of how robust it is, but it does get pretty big. So I would say if you're traveling, if you like to travel really, really light. Um, having something like this because now you're going to be able to get kind of the benefits of a full-size tripod. It is not as stable as a normal tripod, so that is something to take note of. It's definitely not as stable as a normal tripod. Anytime you have one pole sticking up, it's not going to be as stable. It is nice that it has um, this Bluetooth button here, which you know I haven't tested, so I can't really speak to this. And it looks like you can take this out, but I've kind of been messing with it and I haven't really been able to take it out. I do like the fact that it has um, a phone holder built right on in here. So you do have a phone holder built in here with a normal phone mount and that's all coming standard with it. And even if you don't really use the tripod like to fully extend, just using the tripod you know, on a table like this, that's really nice how stable that is. So definitely one to check out if you're thinking of getting definitely like a travel tripod selfie stick. Um, you know, this is gonna hit all those buttons. It's just a matter of preference now on if this is one that you want over maybe some other ones that you've seen.